Hello everyone, Pockets here, back again playing some more EVE Online, and we are finally back on Ander. It's been a couple of weeks since we last checked in with our Alpha living in a wormhole, and while I have been keeping up semi-decently on his training, I may have missed a few days, or a few hours worth of training, or a couple days overall, but we can finally now fly our Drake. So that is what we're going to look at today. I did already go out and I scanned down what was available. There's a couple data sites and a relic site we could run instead. But I think I want to try just some anomalies. Just the basic green already in your overview or not overview over in your probe scan window anomalies. Uh, just that's more what I like to do anyways. Now we can't actually fly the drones. So we're actually going to leave them home. If we get blown up at least we didn't lose all our drones. A, I didn't bring in any T1 drones, which I should have done. And two, A and two, A and B. B, I haven't trained drones to five or anything like that yet, so we'll just leave them home. We'll try it this way. We may struggle a bit against the frigates. We'll have to see. But, um, yeah, so first off, I apologize for being so quiet on the channel. I am trying to sort that out. Uh, I just started a new job, IRL that Monday to Friday, nine, eight to five type of job, you know, and it's been a lot of fun, but it has cut into my recording time, obviously, because I was home before that. And the only thing that cut into it was my children, which obviously did a lot, but not like leaving the house for 10 hours a day. But we will be doing it again. I'm going to get back onto a regular schedule. So I appreciate your guys' patience. I know a few of you reached out to me and I've explained the situation. So perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. But let's get this out here and we'll see what we can find. Now, I did do a brief check of the EVE University site for these. I know there's probably better places to look, but I don't necessarily want all the details. Just kind of an overview. So we will see. I figure we'll do one. We'll see how long it takes. And we might do two today. So let's undock. I did go ahead and send uh, Ander the spirit skin, which is fitting because, you know, Crimson Harvest is coming up this month which I'll also be doing videos for when that hits. But yeah, here's our Drake. We're out in it. It's beautiful and fun. Everything works. So let's take a look at the first sites. You can see them. Oops, on filter. So we're going to start with the... I think the hangar is the second level. So we'll start with the first one, which should be the checkpoints. I'll bring that up over here, show you guys what we have. We'll stop our ship so we don't drift off of the thing. We'll hit D scan. It's all good. All right. Bring up Chrome. Show us. There we go. So here's Chrome. So you see we have the sentry towers. They don't appear to do much. We'll have to keep an eye on that. They don't do damage, and there's nothing marked here. I imagine they web, or they do damage. So we may or may not have to take care of these. We have two frigates, and then our cruisers. The second one, or the last one, will be the trigger for the next wave, and then the patroller again, and then we get a battleship spawn in the last wave. Uh, in thinking about this, I probably should have grabbed a mobile depot or seven just to have them here uh this is probably dangerous we may lose our drake and if i have to go back and another one i'll bring a couple mobile depots in with me uh, let's minimize this so you guys can actually see what i'm doing here so we're going to watch the patrollers for the first two waves sounds good and again there will be no bounties because this is non-concord space so everything is going to be in the loot and we'll see let's hope we don't lose our drake we'll turn on our thing <laughs> We have about 26 minutes of capacitor with everything running. That's plenty. That should be plenty for these sites. Uh, this is just a C2, so it's not even the biggest. Uh, not, not even close to the biggest. It should be pretty easy. I imagine we could have got away with a Caracal or a Caracal Navy, which we may also bring up just to have a variety. And yeah, looking forward to doing this because this is kind of what I wanted to get into in wormholes more so than the data sites. So I do enjoy doing those from time to time. I may do these ones as well as another video today. Uh, the ones I scanned down, the Serpentis Sparking, and there's the Relic site we can do. All right, so we're going to want to move. We'll set an orbit of like 40 kilometers from this thing, maybe. Can I not click on it? Uh, set default orbit to 30. And go, afterburner. And we want to leave the patroller cruisers to last, at least one of them. Are they all the same? There's no bounties, we can't tell. Okay. The Drake is a bit slow. Let's see what's doing damage to us here. Let's take out. We can't shoot any of this stuff, so we'll have to get in. 
Gotta wait till they're under 40, right? Yes. So, patroller, patroller, this one. Here we can shoot. Let's see if we can hit them. They're going a little fast. No, that one's not bad. We might be able to take them out. This is where the drones would come in. We'd be able to send our hobs, hob twos after them. Oh, yeah. It's going to take us a hot minute to kill that. That's okay. Until we know what those are doing, we'll leave them off. This is the first one of these sites I've done. I don't know the patterns. I don't know what kind of damage we're looking at. I'm going to try and passive tank it, which may hurt once the battleship comes. We'll have to kill the battleship first, probably. We'll see how this goes here. First site ever. Keep an eye on D-scan in here. Let's have this selected so we can uh, warp off if we need to. By moving, it should be harder for people to get to us. So what do we got here? Thermal, kinetic, EM. So they're doing all the different damage types. So Omni Tank was the way to go, as I thought. And shields are now holding at about two thirds. That's not bad. Let's shoot this guy. I do have probes on it in case we need to scan our way out. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is a few times I've popped on, there hasn't been much left for anomalies. So there's obviously at least some other person, maybe multiple other people in here. Uh, so we may have to start going into wormholes next door to do our do our stuff, but we'll see. If we can make enough money off these sites, it might be worth just sticking it out as well. We are doing okay. And so the next one is going to be two more frig or two cruisers, four cruisers. Okay. Gonna get to about half. Once we get the frigates down, I have to imagine it's the patrollers that are actually doing the damage, these ones here. 80s, those are coming probably from these. Yeah, awakened patrollers. Oh, these serious, they are doing damage. We need to take these out. They're doing a lot of damage. Uh, so let's get in on this one. Let's get him dead. We'll shoot these as we go in. As we close the gap. So it is definitely them doing the damage. So, that's good to know. Oh yeah, it's going to take us a while to kill these things. We need our drones. We need to train drones. That'll be... We're a few weeks out yet from having our drone skills where we want them, but we'll see if we can at least do it. We may have to warp off and warp in. Don't forget to spam D-scan. Keep an eye here for anything red and flashy. Or anything other than these four deals. All right. Uh, we don't want to... Ma well, do they rep? We'll take out that one, and then we'll take out this thing. We should be okay. Once we get him down a bit. I didn't realize... Yeah, the Sirius didn't list damage on the site. Had a feeling they were just still going to do it. You can see that they do the big hits. So we should easily be able to tank the, uh, the patrollers. Come on, take them down. And yeah, this would go a lot smoother if we had drones, but that's okay. We do what we do. We'll see what we get for loot. Uh, micro or uh, mobile depot is definitely on the docket. I have to get one of those or two of those in here. That would be sweet. Okay, we're into his armor halfway through structure. Sorry. There we go. So yeah, let's see how long this guy takes to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These should be pretty good because they're not moving and they're pretty big. So we should apply pretty fully to them. They're going to take a hot minute. But the tank's regenerating once we get these things down. We should be all right. Biggest worry is other players coming in and uh, joining us. And they could do it completely cloaked, because this is not a site that needs to be scanned. So they could warp in here cloaked and sneak up on us. So who knows? It's exciting. It is exciting. Anything's possible. So we'll just have to keep spamming D-scan and make sure that we don't get surprised unnecessarily, avoidably. All right. We're sort of catching back up here, it looks like, 64%. Just seems to be when they hit, they take us down a bit. But the regular ones, we keep, keep on top of these. Now that I'm getting in close, it looks like maybe they're tracking me a little more difficultly, which... Having a little more difficulty tracking, which is helping as well. Okay, so kill the serious dudes, the sentry towers. Got it. 
going to start orbiting this one because that one's going to go away here. And we're going to have to reload. Boo! But yeah, it feels good to be in a Drake again. I spent a long time in my early days when I first started doing missions. Well, not when I first started, but, you know, back in the day. Years ago, ran a lot of level 3 missions in a similar Drake. Okay, take him out. And how are we doing now? Are we catching up? Yeah, 30, 63. We're doing all right. There's 64 again. 65. Yeah, now we're going to start being able to keep on top of this. Can we shoot him? Thank you. Excellent. Is it shooting? Yeah, it is. Just over there. See if we can get some screenshots while we're in here. Some good, like... I don't know. Something like a silhouette? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. That looks alright. Print screen that. Oh yeah, this thing. Because I'm on the ultra-wide monitor, I have... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's use the uh, snippet tool. I'm on the ultra wide monitor and it's all weird now because it makes me select a section of the screen and all sorts of weirdness. Let's just do a uh, window snip. There we go. That's so much easier. Bring our overview back. And look, it's almost dead. It's actually a pretty good screenshot. I like it. All right. That thing dead. We'll get these last two down, and then our next wave. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Helps. Yeah, make sure you're actually orbiting something so you don't just drift off into space. Check the overview or check, check D scan. It has been a while since I've actually played, like in space, shooting things. Uh, so I'm really enjoying this. Back in the saddle. Make this a regular occurrence. All right. We'll post that uh, screenshot as a teaser in the PDK Discord for my supporters. There you go, guys. Enjoy your preview. Okay, you orbiting? You are. So we can start shooting that guy and get him dead. I'm almost wondering, well, the battleship might be a problem. I was going to say maybe a rapid light missile caracal would be faster, but it would probably struggle a bit with the... Uh, the battleships, so probably don't want to do that necessarily. All right, so let that guy die. Half armor, and now you can see my shields are completely recovering. So, why don't you just? Oh, I see. It is a slow ship being a battle cruiser. I'm used to a little bit more speed <laughs> running this type of site, but it's going to hurt when we have to loot. Maybe we should start looting now. We'll just loot now <laughs> instead of orbiting. There's the Rex because I'm on the wrong window. There we go. We'll grab our loot as we go because it's going to take a long time to clean it up. We'll definitely have to get some MTUs in. Uh, if anybody happens to be coming to this hole, wants to bring me a couple MTUs next time they come in, I would I would uh, appreciate it. I'll play a, let me know the price and we'll do that. I know a couple of uh, 400,000, not bad. All right, so we'll start killing this guy because he'll be spawning the next deal, the next wave. I'm going to have to reload. I probably should reload. Ah, it'll trigger. Let's say we'll reload before the next wave, but he'll spawn it. What else? Nice. So it does look like the loot can be worth some stuff. We have a sleeper data library worth 500 mil apiece, and two of these worth 200,000 apiece, or 500,000 and 200,000. So I could see this being worth some stuff. 
I imagine that are used in manufacturing or researching, that sort of thing. Blueprinting for making T2 blueprints, maybe. I don't know. I don't do any of that crap. I just sell this stuff to my guys or to the uh, to the market, depending. Actually, you know what might be worth? Might have to bring in a salvaging destroyer and change salvaging skills. I bet you that would be worth it. MTU and salvaging. That is another thing we can train for. Bring in a, a cormorant or something. Definitely, definitely something to think about. All right. So this is going to be our life in the wormhole. This is kind of what I wanted to do. Eventually we may try to move up, maybe get into a court, but I want to kind of just get my feet wet like this. I know a couple people from my high sec court have actually moved into a similar situation using wormhole life and their freeported um, citadels, moved into some other wormholes. So that's been exciting. A lot of people are excited about the prospects and I think it's a good thing. Anything we can do to learn more about this game, it's do it all. No point not, you know what I mean? All right, so this guy, can we get our missiles on him again? That'd be good. Pay attention to what you're doing. Getting back in the saddle, a lot of fun. So there have been lots of discussion about some previous videos. And so one of the things I did in a very early video, I just want to, you're absolutely right. I had looked on DScan and wasn't very clear on what I was looking for. Uh, rats don't show up on DScan. They just don't. So I was looking for Rex and that sort of thing just to see what was happening around me, but the, the rats don't actually show up on DScan. So that's not a good way to see if they're really far away. So we'll have to close the gap on them. Well, they're going to come. They're going to come in. We'll go to this. We'll loot this. Oh, yeah, he's hit me already. How close do I have to be? 74 to, to lock. There we go. Let's take that one. These ones are the ones we don't want to kill right away. So we'll leave this last awakened here. We can kill one of them ahead. As soon as he gets within range, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to reload. I know it's only three missiles, but it should be done before he gets in range anyways. Let's we'll see how our tank holds. But yeah, so D-scan. Rats don't show up on D-scan, so don't do that. doesn't tell you anything. What else? I do have... So a lot of the times people will see me doing stuff in, in game and ask how it's done. Uh, take a quick second. Take a look at the... I do have, for example, this one moving like this. And how that works i do uh, i get a question about that a lot there's a few things uh take a look i have a playlist called pockets quick tips and a lot of that quick easy stuff is covered there and if you don't see it there and you still need to know definitely ask because that's the type of question i do build those videos for so if you see something that isn't covered there definitely ask or ask anyway and i will send you a link for the video but there is a playlist called pockets quick tips and anytime i come up with these little or see these little things i keep getting asked about i put those up there for people to uh to view so just uh makes it easier in case i don't have chance to reply to you quick enough you can find that information on that playlist and again if there's something you'd like to see something that i can record in like 10 15 minutes or at least make a 10 15 minute video out of it uh definitely uh let me know because that's what that whole playlist is about all right i am being interrupted with food let's see what we got you made what hot dog rings okay perfect thank you thank you echo just dropped off some food must be food time all right anyway what was i saying yeah so check out that playlist if you have any of these little things also let me know of other little things that are of interest i'm gonna ramble on a bit I'm trying very hard not to talk about my secret project. Um, so other news, my high sec corp, Malro has moved. I'm not going to say where people can figure it out if they really want to, but we have finally finished our move and got everything all set back up and are rolling along again. Things are going well there. Um, just doing our thing, I guess. Uh, so if you are interested in living in high sec and want to, just reach out to me. We can uh, certainly sort that out and get you set up doing some high sec stuff. Uh, we do have ties to some low, low sec and null sec groups as well. So 
Uh, there's lots of opportunity there to move on to other things, which is what I do. And also, maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe one day we will actually set up an actual wormhole group. We need to get these guys closer. You know what? This is not working. I can't get this loot. This one's too far away. I'm going to have to close the gap on these guys so we can kill them. So, so far, not so bad. Well, I mean, it's 3 million. It's not great. Uh, we'll have to find a way to do this faster. Maybe the drones would obviously help. But come on, a little closer. 41? Yeah, 41. Let's get him just a little closer. Watch my my here as well. Okay, there we go. We have to kill this guy last because he's our trigger. But overall, this is going well. I imagine it'll go a lot faster once we have drones, as I said. Um, honestly, Myrmidon would have been pretty cool. Training going Galente route. But I didn't want to do that again. I have enough, uh, enough Galente characters. And I definitely eventually maybe go a Gila for this type of stuff. But that'd probably be overkill and kill bait. So keeping it cheap is the way to go right now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's doing all right. Once I know the sites as well, we may be able to do some other things. I may switch out the fit a bit. Let's see what we got here. Go for some more application. I don't know if we can drop these, but we could swap one of these out for a tracking computer, maybe. Just to apply, apply the damage a little better, because we should be doing 800 of Bali. And we should be doing like 2,000 minus resist, so we're doing less than half per Bali right now as it is. So maybe some more application is the way to go. Uh, it could be that we need to switch missile types. Uh, these guys may take... So we do... Kinetic heavy missiles, so 10% bonus to kinetic. Just why I went with kinetic. So it may just be um, that they're heavy resist to kinetic and that I'm not applying fully because they are trying. Well, they're not going that fast. I don't know. We'll play around with it. I may bring in some modules and play with the fit a bit. I think maybe the tank is good. I don't know if it's overkill. Uh, that's all shield purges. We could maybe. Hmm. Just taking a look. Sorry. W wandering, wondering out loud. I wish this showed the recharge per second or per minute, the D the HP per second, but it generates over 300 seconds. Yeah, we'll have to figure all that out right here. This is the one I'm looking for. Ha. Huh. It's already only 85, which is less than what the battleship is going to be doing. Battleship does something like 160 per second. So here we go. Uh, let's actually reload. Let's reload before we kill this one so we can put as much missiles into the... Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll see where he gets. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll shoot a few missiles at him first and then we'll reload so we have the maximum possible. How close is that? We can go get that loot. <laughs> Woo! I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sure you wormhole guys are going to be laughing at me, and that's fine. Let me know a more efficient way to do this if you can, because I have a feeling these need to be dying. I think I need to be better application or not worrying about the kinetic missiles and going with explosive, maybe. That might be a thing. There we go. Any other close wrecks? This one's close enough. Let's go grab this. Yeah, we'll reload before he's dead. So that's what I thought. And yeah, definitely going to have to think about salvaging and the better way to loot. Because the loot's going to take the longest time. Uh, what do we got here? We have about 20 minutes. We should be able to clear this site before I have to log off for a meeting. So that's good. The module has run out of charges. All right, can we now shoot this guy some more? Thank you. So I'm just kind of maximizing my time when I can by looting as we go. Um, I think I need to make another one. Wow, that was really far away. Okay, we're not going to bother going for those because this guy will be dead. and We'll have to worry about the battleship. We'll see what we pulled out. Good stuff. Okay, here it comes. Battleship, get him first. I think these guys web, but we're not really worried about that. Uh, we're going to want to orbit him just to minimize. Whoop, there we go. Shoot him out. We might apply to him pretty well, but he also has bigger tanks, so we'll see. 
what do we actually do? Five? That is not good. He's going to hurt us. <laughs> a lot. So we'll see. He's doing 300, so we should probably, like, worry about getting in. Well, getting close doesn't matter. He's just traveling faster. He's a fast little guy, but we'll see what we can do here. We may have to overheat to break him before he breaks us. We'll see. We will see what it takes. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, this is where drones might help, too. We can get our drones on these frigates. Oh, there we go. He's slowing down. Are we going to get more damage out of him now? Nope. That's just what we're going to do to him. So it's going to take us a hot minute. Let's go ahead and overheat for a few minutes. A few seconds. Get him a few cycles of sped up damage here. We can always repair it after. Wow, 5% already. Look at that. All right. But we're going to get some extra damage on him. So if it's like 5, 6, 7% there. I don't have these split up, so they're not optimized. I should actually split up the missiles so that the um, probe launcher is in the middle. Let's probably stop it there. I don't want to actually ac accidentally burn it out. <laughs> Not, if I if I stop paying attention for a second and burn it out, that'd be bad news bears. So is, it must be an application problem. I'll have to get some missiles in here. We'll try some other missiles too. I mean, I should be doing about forty percent more damage with kinetic over any other type, but you know, it may be that they resist forty percent more on kinetic as well, and it's better to go to something else. I will do some digging between this and the next video. I do want to try the hangar in the next video and work my way up. There's four different types in the C2. So I'd like to work my way up and see how they all go. Uh, we are working on some training. We'll bring that up. So we're doing the shield stuff. Um, the drones does require a uh, training or uh, attribute change. <laughs> but so I kind of want to wait until I'm done the shield skills to switch over. But I may have to do it early and just take the extra time. Get get to at least T1 drones. But they're kind of shit. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I imagine drones will be what makes the biggest difference. But it's all just a learning thing, right? Just listen to Pockets ramble on while he learns about wormholes. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Die battleship. So we're doing all right. We're not gonna. We're not haven't even hit half yet. I think now that we're orbiting him, he's doing a bit less damage. Yeah. So that's good. Almost out of armor and into shields. And this should be our last wave, and then we'll kill off the frigates, which might take a minute or twelve. And then we'll loot the site, and we'll see what we pulled out of this site. Got to definitely make it faster. So, But as an alpha, our options are kind of limited as far as like ships we can fly. It's not like we could bring in like an assault cruiser or something. So we'll have to see. We will have to see. We may have to turn off something, probably the afterburner. But we'll see. I imagine like... Uh, Gila or Rattlesnake and make real short work of this. Maybe we'll go up to a Raven. Bring a Raven in. But then we're going to have problems with the frigates. But a Raven probably wouldn't be bad either. Modules are under charges. Let it reload. We've almost got it. We've almost got it. Do a Ham Drake. Heavy assault missiles maybe? What do we What do we actually do? Heavy missiles, right? Yeah. Okay. Come on. There we go. Not sure why that wasn't going. I was pressing F1. Must have cycled it on and off again by accident. Singing a song. Alright, so this is like a new stage in our life on Ander. First ratting site in our C2 wormhole. 
Almost through this guy's armor. Stupid battleship. Take it down. Come on. Okay, yeah, this the the structure isn't gonna take much. We're gonna we're gonna take him out quick now that the armor's down. That's good. Thirteen hundred damage. Yeah, so I think they just have heavy kinetic resists on the armor, so I may have to try some other missile types. If it's armor tank, that's usually explosive, right? I don't know. I'll do some research. I'm sure someone has it all mapped out. I actually got that cool spreadsheet. Maybe I should bring that back up. I was given the well, the data spreadsheet, and I should have all that information in it. So I will review that for the next episode, and we'll take a look at what type of missiles I should be using. Because it does feel like they're heavily resistant to... We definitely want to loot the battleship, right? Uh, large. We'll get this one. All right, and we'll clean up these last frigates, and that's beautiful. So what I'll do is, uh, once it's all clear, we've done it. I will do the looting off camera since it's going to take a minute to fly around everything. And then we'll come back and kind of review what we looted and what, what the end, end number was. There's supposed to be blue loot at some point, which I don't think this is. Maybe that's what they call blue loot. It's entirely possible. Um, I imagine there's modules in here as well we could eventually we could find. I just haven't gotten any yet. I think salvaging them is going to be important as well. But that's all research we'll do. We're figuring this out, getting back into it. It was a good way to start after two or three weeks of not playing in my wormhole. And here we go. I figured it was the way to go. Even though we're not even close to finished our shield training. Uh, if I bring this up again. You can see here. Still have all this before I can switch to my remapping to the drones. I imagine our tank is going to be a significantly better once we're done this bit. Our resistances are going to come up a bit, that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm just going to let this roll. Just going to let that roll, do the training. One more. And battleship's almost in looting range. We're going to turn this off to conserve some capacitors so we can warp safely. We should be okay, but this guy shouldn't do that much damage that we need the, uh, the full tank on. Four million. Look at that. I'll find out what these are used for as well. So if you guys know what this stuff is used for, uh, let me know. Uh, maybe T3 production? Because I know that's what wormholes are kind of for. Uh, this guy's close enough. We can start leaving him while we shoot. Hey, missiles. Let's do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think maybe T3 production. I know wormholes are supposed to be for doing T3 production, etc. But... Yeah, let me know if you know what this stuff is used for. That would be great information to have. And what I could be doing to this Drake as an alpha to make my clear times just a little quicker. Uh, maybe reducing my tank in the lows, move those to re recharging mods, and put in uh, application mods. Or just go straight raw DPS, put in two more damage, uh, ballistic controls. Uh, yeah. You wormhole smart folk should let me know. For sure. For sure. Oh, why is that? Oh, I'm, I'm on it. Loot it. Loot. All right. So there we go. Site is complete. I'm going to take a minute to go around and pick up all the loot. And we'll fly back to base and see what we have for our estimated value. So stand by and I'll be right back. Woo. All right, and we are back. We are docked up in our, our station. We are going to quickly repair the overheat damage that we did. Uh, repair all. Nice and free. Sure. All right. Let's see what we actually pulled out of there. We got almost 10 million. Almost 10 million, which is great. All right. So 10 million. The other thing I did is I took a quick look, and we do have pretty much the salvaging skills you can get as an alpha. I don't remember training them, so maybe we started with them at these levels. We might have, we might have trained them anyway. Uh, so that'll be something I would like to try to do between either between this next video, next episode, and the uh, this and the next. Wow, words! Between this episode and the next is to bring our salvaging ship in and maybe some other missiles. Maybe do that at once. Uh, do I have a fit? Do I have 
I had a ship on one of my other guys called Clean Sweep. I don't think we actually have it on this character, so I may have to get that fit as well. Uh, nope, I don't have it. But it was a cormorant with salvagers and stuff. We'll get that all sorted out. I may or may not do a video of it. We'll see. I may just do it kind of as a tack on to the beginning of the next video. But there we go. 10 million in the one site, so we could run this for a couple of hours. How long did that take? About half an hour? That's not bad. It's not bad. We can get a lot faster with some more skills too. As I said, as our tank skills come up, we should probably be able to fit more DPS, get the drones running. Uh, that'll help a lot. And yeah, we'll figure it out from there. But that is it. Uh, <laughs> hope I didn't ramble too much. It does feel good, be good to be back in the seat, but three weeks of downtime, I kind of forget everything I knew. So there we go. All right, guys, as always, if you like that video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Criticize what I did if you like. Just make sure you're constructive about it and tell me what how to do it better instead of just QQing. As always, take care, and I'm out of here.